the last time he come home, he asked me what did he do so bad to deserve them beatings like that. Well, he didn't do anything that bad. Michael Smelly, son of Terry and Carol Smelly, was a mildly retarded boy sentenced to the Florida school for boys at the age of 13. He returned home in an ambulance a few months later, having lost the use of his legs. A tumor was removed from Michael's lower spine, and his mother helped him learn to walk again. It was then that he told her that he had been beaten by the school's staff. Michael was sent down there when he was nine years old, and had been sent down there three different times, and he... Each time he come back, he was paralyzed. Little by little, I'd get him to help walk again. Smelly was soon ordered back to the school with his brother and two others. They hatched an escape plan. They took off in the dark through the swamp. Michael was the first to be caught. Donnie Schaffner, now 63, was the last. They were all taken to a small building called the White House and beaten. Afterwards, Schaffner said he noticed something different about Michael. He couldn't walk and was discharged from the school. They warned me, you know, don't be asking questions, don't be talking to nobody. You were there under their care, so there wasn't nothing you'd do about it. Yeah, there wasn't nobody to help you. Smelly died a few months later from carcinoma of the spine and lungs. His mother and Schaffner are certain that the beatings he endured on his buttocks and lower back worsened his condition. Experts say this is possible, but difficult to prove. It changed me a lot. I used to be a loved person, love everybody, and get along with everybody. I just never have got over his death. But I've been bitter, real, very, very bitter. All these years I've been, I've been so bitter and I just wanted somebody to find out what they were doing to those boys. 